previously on Horrible Film Recaps. Billy, you get out of that tree right now! Never. First floor, brains, cat toys, lingerie. Sons of Scotland, I am William Wallace. Wait, where are you horses? They're, They're in the, the shop. shop. And now, on to our feature presentation. The title of this movie is Dead Poets Society. That's right, we're getting fancy up in this bit To prepare this boy for public school, his dad gets him a briefcase full of nunchucks. This priest gives a sermon on the dangers of organized religion. These kids share a tearful goodbye as they have been sold to the slaughterhouse. When the fifth bell rings, nature will have its revenge. This man is trying to figure out what to name his cat. T.S. Garp walks in, takes one look at these nerds, and quickly leaves the room. Elliot and his grandpa answer a Craigslist ad. In this scene, Garp is letting us know his urinary functions are working properly. This boy said he has written the perfect joke for this scene, but the wanker refuses to share it. While preparing for Cinco de Mayo, Rainbow Randolph realizes he forgot the piñata and the stick. These kids are playing a bastardized version of Quidditch. They win and take home the coveted Mork Award. Here we see what goes on in an underground sex club. Relaxing after so much blowing, these kids enjoy a nice puff. Dick Cheney watches these kids and just wishes they get off his damn lawn. Tommy DeVito notices a moth from across the room. His friend tries to grab it, but smashes it into Vincent's face. After reading some of our scripts, these former subscribers give their feedback. Elliot and the boys chat up some cave-dwelling whores. Dick Cheney informs the class that he will be hunting them later. Do I have time to text my mother? Stuart asks. Preferring not to be hunted for sport, Stuart opts to test his impact tolerance. We can't show you what's going on in this scene. But rest assured, they are both into it. In this scene, Bill Denbro rides out on silver to beat the devil. The attack on his life left the Emperor scarred and deformed. As they head out on their date, they realize that their Uber is Christine. Wait a second, a play within a movie? What kind of sorcery is this? Oh, it's the Broadway version of Midsummer. Clarence Bodicker doesn't much care for trees that can talk, and he gets into his SUX and drives off. Batty Coda likes to steal books, but then feels super guilty about it. These poor kids are forced to sing a Dave Matthews song. This kid heard the floor was lava and doesn't want to burn. Succumbing to mass hysteria, these other students fall into the same delusion. This concludes the movie recap. Dead Poets Society, more like Dead Student Society. Am I right, folks? Good day to you all. If you enjoy my nonsensical ramblings, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. 